Oh my days. <laughs> oh. Good morning and welcome to a place called Montan. Um, we're up in the mountains behind uh, Valencia and we found, well, this little motorhome area. I think Alison is still filling up the water. Hello. Hello, good morning. Um, I've got the glorious job of cleaning the toilet in a second. But we do seem to be finding quite a number of these. Wow, I mean, this is four bays of motorhome parking, completely free of charge, with water, with grey waste emptying and poop cleaning station. But today we are heading further off, there's apparently a road that weaves in through these hills and mountains here, to a place called Montanejos. Because it's a bit chilly, we're hoping to find some hot springs. So, welcome to Montanejos. And oh, it looks stunning. I've got to say, from what we're seeing already, yeah so we, we've come across this bridge there i know it's somewhere i don't think we're about to see it very well from here there's a bloody great road up on the bridge but i mean look at this water that's oh, I do amazing hope it's warm though yeah <laughs> coming through the village it was only 12 degrees on yeah it said that on the pharmacy, pharmacy didn't it? it well we're parked up here um apparently it's free this time of year uh, this is well, we're in the middle of November now, and um, I've read somewhere that it's 10 euros a day during the, the summer. Okay. Can't take the dogs in. So obviously you have to pay to get in here normally. Oh, there we go. 350, that's not terrible. But yeah, like Alison says, we unfortunately can't bring the boys with us. We were hoping to take the boys in. So, we'll go and have a look, see what's going on anyway. I can hear Russian water already. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at this water. It's so clear. Oh, it's stunning. It's crystal clear. Mm. You can see now what I was talking about. So this, sorry about the sun here, but this is the bridge we came in on. And then this road is just kind of strapped to the side of the Rock. the cliff edge and just runs off into somewhere <laughs> i don't know where oh do you know what is an absolute crying shame though we found a lovely park up for tonight but here would have been amazing mm. but it makes it very very clear do not camp here overnight that the water here is not freezing cold but it's not it's warm. nippy but for this time, considering, obviously we're quite a, a way up in the mountains, the, uh, the water is, it's actually, it's actually nice. That's comfortable temperature. It oh. will be nice later in the day because yeah. it's meant to get to 28 degrees today. Yeah. Obviously at the moment, it's not quite that. Middle of November. And we're supposed to hit 28 degrees. Got, we think, about a 10 minute walk down to... Where are we going? Hot springs. Some hot springs where we think we might be able to go and have a swim. We think there's a cave and everything there. And uh, quite a few things to see. Now, if you follow our channel, you'll know I do have a habit of 
saying something <laughs> that turns out to bite us in the ass. However, this time I can save this out because I thoroughly checked this out. This whole hike is, uh, well, on very well paved pass <laughs> all the way. And it's supposed to be, for us. Yeah, it's supposed to be beautiful though, because it's supposed to, you can see here, it follows the, the river all the way along, mm. with lots of little bridges and bits and bobs, and eventually we'll get to this hot springs. This is beautiful. Mm. Oh, and it's a lovely day for it as well, to be fair. It's, I mean, it's early morning, or early-ish morning. Or should I say early for us morning? Early for us morning. Early for us morning. And the sun's out, a nice cool breeze. <laughs> cool breeze? Is cool it? breeze, yeah. Okay. I think it's cold breeze. It's, it's fairly chilly. Okay, stop, my, take my... two. The sun's out, there's a nice cold breeze. <laughs> my knees are chilly. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. To be fair, if the water's too cold this morning, we'll just wait until this afternoon when it's 28 degrees and then go in and we'll appreciate it being cold. Yes. I so... presume we can still get into the water this time of year. We didn't think about that. What's it like? Oh, hello. What? Oh, oh yes, please. Oh, that is a lot warmer. That's lovely. Wow. That's incredible. Yep. I mean, we've only walked, what, since we were since we touched water down there. Four minutes? Five Six. minutes? Yeah. Up. And this area here is substantially warmer. Looks deeper too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get further upstream. Is that where we can swim? I think so, yeah. The, the, the bit that everybody around it is wearing coats. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're a little uh, concerned that we're, we're deciding, or we're going planning on getting changed and going in for a swim and everyone's got jumpers and jackets on. <laughs> this is the bit I was expecting with the gorge. You can swim around the gorge. I with didn't the... notice that. Yeah, it goes off to the right there by the looks of it. Yeah, with the big old rocks each side. To be fair, I'm not quite sure what I expected. <laughs> this is one of the ones that I've been nagging about again, isn't it? <laughs> Because it's a little bit further than home than we wanted to travel for yeah. the main vlog. Yeah, I, I was the one doing the whole, let's hang on and when we get in the motor home, we'll actually go and park up close to to Montaner Hoss or in Montaner Hoss as we are now and yeah. uh, go and explore. But it seems to be a, a building. Hmm. Boiler we, room. We were joking, <laughs> we were joking, saying, uh, it's not really a natural hot spring, that's the, that's the boiler room. <laughs> What's it like? Oh, uh, okay. What? It doesn't feel as warm in this bit as it did further down there, but it's still warm. Still, still wettable. <sighs> be rude not to, <laughs> but you're not going to get me out of it because it's going to be so cold coming out. <laughs> Hello, donkey. I don't know if that just came out on camera, but apparently there's some donkeys up there somewhere. <laughs> it's not a dog, it's a donkey. So what's the... That's what? a donkey. Yeah. I thought you said dogs up there. No donkey. Donkey. What's the verdict? It doesn't say no, and it says that this is the zone, zone de baño. It best be warm in there, darling. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're getting changed into swimwear and everything, and. This is nippy. This is definitely a bit nippy. Yeah. That water wants to be very blooming warm. You heard me say 12 degrees, right? Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh. oh, you're straight off. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's so clear though, the water. <gasps> okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know I've said this already a couple of times, but middle of November and we're swimming in a location like this. <laughs> Takes your breath away it for does a second. when you first but... get in. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Considering the time of year and there's no sun. No, there is absolutely zero sun. This and is. It can't be much more than 14 degrees, oh. even if it's risen a little. This is actually quite lovely. What a location. Seriously. I mean, this is accessible to anyone, isn't it? Yeah. And you don't even have to be, it's, you know, some of the locations we've said, you need to be a fairly decent swimmer. You don't here. This, this is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's get swimming. But yeah, you can walk along the bottom of the water pretty much the whole way down here. Stunning in places. Yeah. But this is definitely my favorite. Yeah. So far that is, obviously. Yeah. I gotta say, I understand why. Because at the end of the day, you know, like I said earlier, it's so easy to get to. Yeah. And the fact that at this time of year, it's so warm. It's lovely. <sighs> what a location, seriously. We've said this for a few locations, if you get a chance to come to Montenegros, just north of Valencia, do it. It's incredible. So apparently Alison's done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is where the heat is. So that's where the hot water comes into the this area, isn't it? And it is uh, very warm and she's decided that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the rest of the day there. The only problem is there's no fish to chew my feet while I'm in here. <sighs> well, we're dressed. <laughs> that was lovely though. Oh, it was very nice. Oh, that was the water. Just amazing. 25 degrees all year round, Ooh. apparently. Lovely. Right, I'm going to head back to the motorhome and uh, try and work out where we're heading from there. I think what we're we'll doing now is going to head back again. Do you know what? I love the fact we can say, we're just going to head home. Head back to the motorhome, go home, and um, get these boys back and then sort out something to eat before we move on to a campsite or a, a park up we found for this evening, which, fingers crossed, if it works out, looks absolutely stunning. Cool. Yeah. actually rocks on top of the nets as well yeah. so it's like massive catch nets wasn't it yeah it was really bizarre oh that's a bit of a sharp turn 
Next down. That was a fun bit of road. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? That has got to be one of the most spectacular drives we've done. Yeah. Probably ever. Yeah. That was a phenomenal bit of road. Kept wanting to stop and just look around, but I have to be a little bit careful because I'm still not completely used to driving this thing. But what we have done is we found ourselves somewhere rather nice to kind of hang out for the evening. And that is at this reservoir. But I've got to say, we're not the only ones with the same thought. There's a couple of uh, Dutch guys down there. There's actually a French guy behind us, who's clearly, we're all going to stay here overnight. But what a location. Indeed. Loving this. It's so quiet. It's lovely. Right, should we go and take the hooligans for a quick wander along the, I'm going to say the seafront, but the, <laughs> the reservoir front. Have you got poo bags? No. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's a crap life, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I gotta say, we had a great night's sleep, didn't we? Mm. It was uh, really lovely. It was so peaceful. What a beautiful location to wake up to. Oh, it's an awful view. So, we, that's the bedroom window there, and we literally just, um, opened up the blind, just sat in bed this morning, just watching the sun come up behind the mountain over there, or the hill over there. Oh, it's glorious. But the plan for today is, we are gonna, well, we've kind of packed up now, pre-flight checks done. And um, we're gonna head down into a town called Onda. Onda. Right, so we've moved uh, the motorhome down into the town of Onda. And again, we, we found another motorhome specific park up thing with all the facilities. You empty in facilities, you ought and everything. If the rest of the world is going to be as easy to travel as what we found Spain so far, it's going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> so it tells me it's not going to be. And I'm sure, I'm sure no. the experienced motorhomers and van yeah. lifers out there watching we'll this be laughing right chuckling, now. going, yeah, you yeah. wait till you get to but now we're kind of randomly wandering our way through what is quite a large town, trying to get to, there's a castle, a huge castle, somewhere in the center. And I know normally we go, yeah, you can see it from miles away, but the buildings around here are really um, quite tall. So we do feel like we're just kind of wandering around a maze mm. in the hope of finding it. Right, so first up issue is we're wandering along just chatting, <laughs> paying not really a great deal of attention, and all of a sudden the signs we were following Stop. pointing us towards the castle have stopped. What the? <laughs> I don't know what it says. It's, an, it's an advert on a car. There's a guy with two loudspeakers on top of a car shouting about adverts for supermarkets. <laughs> well, uh, um, and the other thing which we thought was awesome and probably the th one of the main things that got our attention and why we weren't looking why for we the weren't signs. looking again on the floor when you get to a zebra crossing there were lights yeah in on the, in main the floor street, not on the side streets but and, they, and when it was not safe to cross they were red and then they went green when it was safe to go over the road See, we're just obsessed by lights and things. A bit like Napia, and <laughs> yeah. that's why we missed it. Right. So are we going that way or that way? I think the safe bit... That way bit... looks more interesting. I was going to say safe bits that way, but you think that's more interesting? It looks more interesting. So that was cute in two ways. You've got 
I love the little zigzaggy, what do they call it? Square area. Street. Street, street thing. But then there was a cat. It was, it was very talkative. It was chatting away to Alison. <laughs> and then this guy just wandered down the hill. It's his cat. Oh, and it sat there waiting to follow him home. It was so cute. For a second breakfast. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> well, what are we coming up to here? This is quite impressive. That front entrance was quite incredible, and this looks really well restored. Yeah. And they're still doing it, for the yeah. sounds of it. Right. We're going to have a good old look around and mm. see what we can see. This is incredible. This is huge. Uh, do you know what also shocks me? What's that? Again, it's free. completely free of charge. No, no cost to get in here. I don't... Sometimes I don't understand how these places stay open. So this is a 10th century castle. Please excuse me being out of breath. It was a very, <laughs> very steep walk up. It's in three main parts. Outer citadel. Inner structures where the wells and everything were. And then what they classed as the palace. The Royal Quarters. The Royal Quarters. Let's go and see the Royal Quarters then. Palace is also so red. Impressed. Apparently, well, there seems to be a little bit of confusion on this. There's some kind of prison tower. Prison tower. But the guy know. keeps telling us it's not open, but we can see it. I don't know. We'll have to work this one out, but you really want to find it, don't you? Obviously. So. If it says it's open, I want to visit. So this is the palace. Wow. Oh, you can walk all the way around. Yeah. But for, rightfully so, they're not going to let you just wander around in here. No. I but actually again, really like that. It says that walking on the walls is forbidden. Yeah. Which is great, because it, it, you know. Yeah, no, no, I get it. But again, it's all this metal work. This is free and they've really made a massive effort with it. Yeah. Which way are we going? Left or right? I'm going to go that way first. Kind of it, really, isn't it? Right okay, here. Yeah, yeah. This is lovely, though. And like I said, I think we said earlier, this is free, completely free. It is. And this part here is a museum that they normally have um, interpretive videos, but their projector is broken, so they can't do that at the moment. We can't go see that. No. But, but that used to be a school. Ah. Oh yeah, and she said this. This part, this part as well. here as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It was part of a school. By the Hundred odd years ago. But I think what we're going to do now is head back down and take some of the ladies' advice. Apparently there's a Go really the beautiful tower. old section and that's where the prison tower is that Alison wants to see. Perfect. So we're trying to work out which way we're heading there. Have you got this sussed? Yeah. Okay. We're kind of here. So let's let me show you. We're here. Yeah, we're going to come down onto here. Yeah. Round here, past the Jewish section. Yeah, uh, Jewish quarter, the um, Muslim quarter is there, but we're going to do the church. Right, so we're going round this. Yes. Well, hopefully it won't take us too long anyway. <laughs> oh, look, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the church. So on the way down, we've actually stopped off at a bakery to grab some food. Nice. And we turned the corner and saw this. And this is just stunning. It's, I mean, it's so ornate. And the beauty is, the doors are open. 
Oh my days. <laughs> I I don't even know what to say. I've Wasn't never seen that. anything like it. Well, it's not often we're lost for words, is it? Not often, no. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I mean, these chairs around the outside are so beautiful, but... I mean, I don't know, is the height of this thing coming out properly on camera? I don't know. But that is so tall. That is massive. And the lady's painting it to do conservation. I mean, to give you a rough idea, by the way, these figurines here, these, these are life-size. All bigger. Well, yeah, potentially a little bit bigger, but... What an ornate church. It's really somewhat spectacular. Uh, well, that I, was unexpected. I don't think I've ever seen a church like that. No. I thought it was nice from outside. Oh, I mean... What a place. Even the, the second little thing was just ridiculous. Glad we saw that. Yeah, very much so. Right, now we're going to wander our way around somewhere and try and find this prison tower you still want to see. This is beautiful. Look at that. This town is something a bit special. Isn't it? I love this over here. With these... Uh, arches. Old arches going through. Yeah. I wonder if that can cut us through to where we want to be anyway. Well, I think we've, we've found it. Found what? Well, there's centre deck that the lady said about. There should be a wooden door around here oh. somewhere that will be open. OK. So apparently we've actually found the location somewhere around here, there is a door to the prison tower. <laughs> now be prepared for 20 minutes of video of us hunting Time for to a find door. It. Okay. You would miss it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I. Well, as you probably gather, we found it. And we were told it was right next door to the bar. I mean, that's the bar, and it. Okay, let's go and go up. Ooh. Oh, I can smell bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Random. Uh, so we come to an ancient prison and the first thing you smell is bacon. I can smell it bacon. Smell, it can smell it. Maybe it's next door. Must be. But look at these oh. stairs and these walls and the floors. They're incredible. Very old, isn't it? Wow. Let's go in here first. This is obviously another part of the annex building. Look at this. Look at this door. Look how old it is. Administration area. Yeah, it doesn't smell like bacon in here. I presume this would have been one of the cells then. Look, Apparently it's classed as the stables. This is the stables? Apparently. Prisoners spent most of their time in the stables, large shared spaces without any comfort other than straw or mattress to lie on. Spent time spent sleeping, wandering around the room, chatting or making graffiti as a form of entertainment. So this is what you were talking about, this? 
This yeah. is the original graffiti, is it? Yeah, dating <laughs> to the 18th and 19th centuries. And then we come up to the top. Excuse the atmospheric sound effects <laughs> in the background. But again, I presume this, well, at least that one's got straw on the floor. Yeah, they used to have straw mattresses, apparently. That was, that was the posh prison. Oh, yeah. And my word, we're at the back of the clock tower. <laughs> wow. Oh, that one obviously has just a, got a straw bale for his head and nothing else. Yeah, nice pillar. <laughs> More graffiti. Ooh. What can we see out here? Not a lot, but that had been the view they got anyway. Well, if they had a view, probably wouldn't have been concrete tower blocks up there, no. but yeah. Oh, there we go. Found the prison. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Those stairs were just phenomenal. Yeah. I would love to, once we decide to settle again, have a house with stairs like those. <laughs> okay. You can clean. But you say you've enjoyed that. I've thoroughly enjoyed the last couple of days. Yeah. It's been incredible. It really, you know, the wild swimming, perfect. Ugh. Here has been a real shock for me. Yeah. That church, out of this world. Yeah. The only thing missing from our normal arsenal of things we go and see is obviously a beach. Sorry, that one. <laughs> right. We'll see you next Sunday. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.